Human Computer Interaction Assignment 2 Submitted by Tarun Saxena Prince Anuragi Shivani and Amit Kumar The task is to create Alexa that will see and to detect that particular person is wearing mask or not. The motivation behind this project is that in the present scenario due to COVID-19 there is no efficient face mask detection applications which are now in high demand for transportation means, densely populated areas, residential districts, large-scale manufacturers and other enterprises to ensure safety. Also, the absence of large data sets of, with mask, images has made this task more cumbersome and challenging. Now let's discuss its features. The model is accurate and it's also computationally efficient and thus making it easier to deploy the model to embedded systems like Raspberry Pi and Google Coral etc. This system can therefore be used in real-time applications which require face mask detection for safety purposes due to the outbreak of COVID-19. This project can be integrated with embedded systems for application in airports, railway stations, offices, schools, and public places to ensure that public safety guidelines are followed. Now Amit will describe the code and its implementation. Hello everyone, welcome to our project. In this project, we have made a system in which we can detect that a person is wearing a mask or not. So, in this project, we have imported necessary modules in which we have imported some Valent modules like Pandas, TensorFlow, NumPy, OS, Random, Zip file, and uh, many more. So, uh, let's start the project. We will first run our first segment. Hi, welcome to our project. So, in this project, we have also used uh, in speech recognition in which we can uh, we can make system uh, say whenever it detects some new things like uh, from from in starting we have this he welcome to our project after that we have the description of training data set means in data sets how many images are there how many images are belong to face mask means person who wearing mask and uh, how many data set are not face mask means without face mask so let's run this description of training data set total number of images in data set 4416 total percentage of face mask images 55.4121376815942% total number of face mask images 2447 Total percentage of unmasked images, 44.5878623188458%, total number of unmasked images, 1969. So, after that, we have split the whole dataset into two parts. Uh, one is testing dataset and another is training dataset. So, for splitting, we have used this function split data, in which we have used OS, OS list dir for uh, for the directory and uh, here data dot append uni data in which uh, our data are splitted in training set testing set and uh, random in shuffle all of this so let's run this please wait well data is being split to test and train directory data splitting successful Data splitting successful. So here, uh, data splitting successful has uh, said two times because we have split it two times. One for uh, face mask, another for uh, face not wearing mask. Face is not wearing mask. So here is the whole description of our training and testing data set. So let's run this. Description of testing and training data set after splitting. The number of images with face mask in the train directory. 2447 the number of images with face mask in the test directory 490 
The number of images without face mask in the train directory, 1969. The number of images without face mask in the test directory, 394. So here is all the description of our data set. After that, we have used Kira's model sequence for uh, the um, for our model. So here we have used uh, Kira's layer convo 2D, max pooling 2D, uh, flatten, dropout, dense, and here activation is relu. So model dot compile. So let's run this. We have to. Okay. We have to run this after that we have to give our training directory path for training our model so for training we have used total tkm which batch size of 10 target 150 150 and all so we have also used fun validated generator which will validate that First, our directory is valid or not, then batch size and then target. After that, we have also used G checkpoint. So, let's run this. So, we have found two classes one, one have 4416 images, another have 884 images. So, here we have more, we have to generate our model. So, model.fit. If we have, we have used five efforts so the one uh, so let's run this first so uh, in every watch is will it, it has one four forty two steps and it will validate up to 89 steps why 89 because um, here in splitting our data set we have used split size of 0.8 so uh, for our hundred percent data set 80 percent data set are uh, for training and 20% data is for testing so in first epos i think it will take around 160 to 180 minutes after that uh, second epos and then it will complete it's all ongoing epos like it has to complete five epos so here uh, the first epos is completing so i have to stop it for some time and i will continue when the 50 pause is about to complete so here our uh, all the five pause are completed in which our uh, in our training model uh, accuracy is 0 0.88 in our last epos and uh, we can see that it's around 88 in last three uh, for the training model and uh, for the validation validation model it's around 86 to 85 percent so now next we have written color directory in which we have assigned color right red and green after that we have a label directory dictionary sorry uh, in which we have zero for mask and one for unmasked image and then uh, we have used our camera our Harris cascade image file for detecting the fish and then our model will detect that I am wearing mask or not so let's run this please wait your camera is being open not wearing mask so I am wearing my mask now wearing mask so here you can see that uh, i have wearing my mask and uh, it's in green color so now i am um, not wearing mask so here you can see that uh, it's properly saying that i am not wearing mask so this is this is the prediction uh, we can test this for two or three times the face mask can be detected multiple number of times and each time it gives an accurate result. Look for yourself. Wearing mask. Not wearing mask. Wearing mask.
not wearing mask. Wearing mask. Not wearing mask. Wearing mask. Not wearing mask. So here we can see that it's perfectly working uh, for uh, detecting the mask as well as unmask the image. Wearing mask. Not wearing mask. Wearing mask. In this video we learned about main features of this face mask detection. Motivation behind this initiative. How convolutional neural network achieves the aim of face mask detection and using Alexa to implement the task. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Stay safe, stay healthy.